Hello everybody, Sift here again, with another Hectic Fork run, the roguelike bullet heaven bullet hell third defense card game that also has an interactive story, and today I'm gonna be doing a run with the guns of god, I'm gonna continue playing with Nia Bliat, the most busted character, because she makes fun builds, man, being busted makes things fun, now the game doesn't have a difficulty setting, and I'm also not gonna play endless, so uh, we are what we are, we're gonna go play guns of god, I'm not gonna play anything else, this is gonna be a single tower build, Nah, I'm kidding. We're gonna lose if we're gonna go with single tower build. Let's just go with a secondary and unholy tower. Any unholy crit hits charge the tower faster. That's what we're gonna do. Let's go. So uh, mainly I'm gonna go with Guns of God. And we're gonna have that other tower for AoE. Because Guns of God don't have AoE. But they attack pretty fast. Therefore we should be gaining a lot of crits. Therefore it should be charging up the unholy pulse pretty fast. That is my thought process here. So we are gonna be a garrison build. Therefore we're gonna keep the garrison cards this time. And we're gonna throw away the other cards. So let's throw these out and see what we get. I found another Guns of God really early, and I think I'm gonna just get this. Replace all Garrison cards, and we're gonna just get this. I would say we throw away the Unholy Pulse Tower right now. Just skip into Guns of God right away. Uh, yeah, I think we should just skip and get the tower. No, 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 no. I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna keep this. I'm gonna keep the Unholy Pulse Tower. I'm gonna just play the Guns of God on top of this. I, I know what is better. So let's go here, here, and I wouldn't even go as far as say here. So we've got garrison movement speed, garrison damage, and garrison and just tower attack damage, which is this one. Now uh, the tower damage on this one is useless, of course, as that tower doesn't really do damage right now. But it's okay. Let's combine this with this. See what we get. Replace all tower cards in the deck with discard pile with garrison cards of equal quality. Honestly, no, these are all useless again. Uh, I would like to play this card to start healing, and I would go as far as say combine the guns of gods. I don't think it's a good idea. Is it? Is it? I don't think it is. But YOLO it. Sift is over here playing his own play again. Increase garrison unit damage by 10% for every other card used before this one. That's actually really good. It's only one, 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 it's only one mana. We're going to go here, here, and here. And just like that, I got 50% garrison damage right away. So we already scale our damage pretty fast. Guns of God is going to income in a moment. I mean, look at this. From times 4 spawn rate, it would go up to times 5. Hail Satan, obviously best card in the game. Unholy damage, 50% up. This is extremely early to get, and that's actually very lucky for us. Let's also draw another card. Throw these out. See what we get. We pawn shielding. That's nice. Uh, this costs 5, and this costs 3. 5 plus 3 is 8, and we have 8 mana, so Hail can loop one time. Yeah, let's get our towers up and running, and let's leave that there. I'm gonna get Hail next turn. So hopefully we're gonna survive here. Now the pulse mainly gets damage, and the pulse fires only when I crit, so I'm not critting enough. But it's okay. Enjoy a card, lose life. Let's see what we can get. Here we found a spell. I'm gonna get the spell. So we're gonna go Gearson damage, Gearson movement speed, spell armor, spell slowdown. I think we're good. Unholy Pulse is gonna stay in the deck, but I'm gonna try to remove it. So the idea is, first of all, I would like to go for the luck build if I'm lucky enough to find the luck items. If I don't find the luck items, I just want to go Guns of God as many as possible. So Guns of God are here again. I would like to throw this Pulse out, but I don't think it's a good idea. Although we are pretty early here. I can maybe get the Pulse later, like a lot later. Next card, you next time your shield is depleted, draw an extra card during the next preparation phase. What? Why would you... This... What? This is a zero cost. Does nothing. It does nothing. It straight up does nothing. But it, but if you lose your shield, so if you don't even play perfect, then you draw a card once. The next time. Yeah, if it's every time, if it was every time your shield gets bleed, it would be godlike. Next time. What? I know. Like, no. This is very bad. These are all bad. I guess we're going to get this. Hail is definitely going to be played here. And I think I'm going to forget the pull star for the time being. Until I get some crits going. I would like to banish this to get a better rock, but it doesn't matter right now. Prefer keeping the blue card. So I think I did increase my DPS instead of decreasing it. With what I just did. Uh, that's my opinion at least. Okay, yeah, we are almost double tapping or triple tapping the opponents here, so we should be good to go. Now something very, very, very important is getting uh, it's getting lifetime on my units. And I think for us to get lifetime, we need some holy units or something. Get the three middle ones. Okay, deplete shield to draw cards is godlike for this character, and eh, whatever card is the other one doesn't really matter. Uh, unholy damage is here, I'm gonna obviously go for that, it's really enough, so we get our units up and running. The guns of God. 
they should one shot your opponents let's see what i can draw i found one of the better cards i uh, definitely go with card draw see what we get nice these are useless throw these out see what we get these are also useless at least i can play this uh, yeah i will most likely play this combine the cards i'm not gonna play we found attacks but that's also useless because we're garrison build uh laser beam i could combine it with this but i would prefer playing it to have the spell going on i don't really trust the garrison build so i think having a bunch of random stuff maybe keeping us alive could help us here 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 and here and we just did a bunch of damage, but that's irrelevant. Nice. So now I have the laser beam. That's also going to help us survive whenever it fires. And otherwise, we're going to continue with Guns of God. Guns of God. And opponents are actually coming in. <laughs> so we actually start having issues. Nice. Draw a card. Guns of God is here. Let's combo those pieces. Gerson life spawn. I literally got the exact same thing I want. Gerson life spawn is the most important thing to play. So I'm going to play Guns of God and Gears and Life Spawn. And I don't really care about movement speed and damage. I do care about range. And damage is gained faster with this other thing I have used. I've been using this thing, Primal Fury. Yeah, I mean, my damage is already at 210. So this 10% is not going to make a big difference. Holy, these are all useless. And turn. I'm going to keep it there to combine it to something else. Maybe I made a mistake. Maybe movement speed is important. But I would like to get purple movement speed. I would like to get spawn speed. Like, there are so many better buffs than movement speed. Uh, specifically, attack range is better. Although the attack speed of these is so bad that maybe attack speed for this specific Gerson is useless. Draw a card. This is going to get combined. So let's combo these pieces. We found another Guns of God, which I definitely want. Uh, the tier 2 is used. I'm going to combine these two. So, we're going to play this with this. Tower damage. While one garrison exists and the other structures increases damage by 5%. And no other structures. This is really good. Really good. Okay, we're going to obviously try to skip ahead into this build. So, I only want one Guns of God. And that's it. It says no other structures. So, I'm going to go with a single Guns of God. Because having... The only way that this is worse than having a lot of them is if you have six Guns of Gods. And right now I just want to have one. So I think I'm going to play this. And maybe if I'm going to get six, then I'm going to transition over to another build. So I will definitely play this, is what I'm going to say. I'm even going to combine these now. And combo these because they are useless. Cooldown, that's actually really good and decent. So I'm going to get the cooldown up and running. And this is not going to get played because otherwise we lose the damage. And now my garrison units are doing 200 damage. So now we are actually completely and naturally busted. Every single shot is a one shot. And now we just need more life spawn, more movement speed, more range on these. Like the, the, the part of them being busted is, is dealt with. It's up and ready. It's up and running. We are a go. Okay, between these choices, we obviously will go with the Guns of God. And uh, yeah, I know exactly what I'm going to do now. So I'm going to play the two guns of God, get a double green, combine the two greens, get a blue, and then I'm done. So I just literally, le not left, but I solved. Wait, did I just... I thought I played that and I got it back. That would have been weird. What is this tower? What is this AoE? Well, both of these are useless. Okay, these are all irrelevant. Uh, garrison speed for sure, and this one for sure. As I said the I, I will do less damage now for literally one or two turns actually not for one or two turns for a decent amount of turns i'm gonna be doing less damage but i think we're powerful enough to not really have issues we're doing 3d7 and 3d7 is on the higher end of things so we should be good to go nice wow nice but also not nice because i literally got the the draw i wanted I want to double, like, I wanted to combine these into a blue gun of God and then combine them all together, but that's not a thing right now. By the way, the reason why I didn't do that uh, instantly, unholy damage definitely stays. The reason why I didn't combine them right now is because blue cards disappear from the deck if you play them. Unholy crit chance, I'm gonna get this. I want to get my crit chances up and running. Uh, play this for sure, and play the unholy crit chance. There is no reason to keep it in hand. Maybe he should have combined it with a push tower. I don't know. 3% crit is 3% crit. This should be a very easy wave. In general. 
it's very easy to defeat this loop de loop wave with garrisons as the garrison just, you know, they're running them down. Look at this. <laughs> they're running them down. Da -da 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 -da. Chase them down, boys. And the laser is cutting them in the middle, too. Nice, another gun of God is here. Now I just need to draw the other gun of God and we're done. Increase the AoE, decrease. Nope, garrison unit life spawn. Definitely, yes. Assuming that there is no tier 3 of this. I'm gonna really assume there is no tier 3. I'm gonna first get my 200% garrison uh, survival and then I'm gonna try to combine them. I'm not risking losing the ability of getting this going. So I'm gonna play this and I'm gonna play the Primal Fury. Nah, let's get the charge time of the spells. Although Primal Fury is also good. I'm not risking my life spawns. Although I'm pretty sure there is a 15% life spawn and a 20% life spawn. But no gamble. No gambles. Piercing, Sunder, Forker. And there was a spell which I lost, but whatever. Let's get the tier 3s to get to your fours. Straight up, only combining stuff. Health regen's nice. Uh, this is useless. Yeah, this is actually useless for us. At least for the time being. I'm gonna combine the two guns of God and then that's that. And we're done with uh, all the danger. Gluttony. Throw a card. Okay, throw these out. Health fire damage. All of these are useless. Remove these pieces. Mm, nope, also useless. Well, persistence. The only playable card here. And I'm keeping these once again. Because we want them to be comboed. So we still... Now I need to literally draw 5 out of 13 cards at the same hand. Unless I just get a Gun of God by a random reroll. Then I'm done with those. Then I will start combining them all real quick. But until that happens, we just wait for the luck. Luck of the draw. See what we get. Of course things will get combined here. And we got the Guns of God by the way. So here you go, and now I can combine, and combine, and boom, I got my legendary tier 5, and I'm done. I'm 100% done. Let's continue with garrison spawn rate. Throw those out. I could combine these two, but I do enjoy the cooldowns, as an idea at least. Definitely care about getting the armor up and running. I would like to get crazy, crazy, crazy cooldowns, and being like, boop, 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 shield, 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 shield. Not that it really matters, but uh, you never know what exactly you need to win. Now the one quest is, as I said, to get the Guns of God to get like 10,000 kills, which is really easy because we literally have only that as a weapon. If I haven't already done the quest. By now, another Gun of God. Wait, what? I guess I had three of them. Yeah, I guess I had three. Well, in that case, combo these. Okay, that was a bit unlucky. Let's combo those now. And we found Hellfire spell. Alternate between three mana and losing two. Gaining three, losing two. No. Gaining three, losing two. This is, I mean, losing two means I'm at six. Gaining three means that I'm at I'm at I'm at eleven. Having eleven mana with Primal Fury is really insane. I think I'm gonna get this. I never have played this before. So uh, first of all, let's play Persistence. Second, let's play the Risk. Let's play the Fury now. Pass. Fury has brought our damage up to 250. And Hellfire and Unholy is 250 something too. So we good. We good. We good. Da, 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 da. Is uh, is Garrison duration shown somewhere? 160 HP. It says HP. <laughs> so there is Garrison HP here, and then there is Garrison life uh, time as a wording. But in reality, Garrison damage 15%. I don't care about this. We get damage better and faster. Let's get the movement speed. But in reality, and, and the quest is called Resistance, Resilience, or something. So all of them are different named. Named differently. Different named. No oh, helper is useless. Let's see what we get. Okay. And I found Praise of Duplication. I'm gonna most likely play that. Yeah, I will play that. YOLO it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Up, oh, Garrison Movement Speed. Might as well. I can combine these into Garrison Movement Speed Tier 2. Helper is useless. Every time you play a card this round, well... Too late. Too late. Yep. A bunch of small opponents. I want to see how I'm going to deal in general with a bunch of small opponents. I don't think we're good at dealing with crash mobs. Not with this build, at least. Until I get my crits up and running. And then, here we go. Double movement speed. Buff those into higher movement speed. Here we go. Very nice. Why is this not playable? Oh, because I was on the lower end turn. Well, I'm going to play extra poke. I still want the spells. Extra poke. And this. 
Eh, extra pug does 50 damage. Nice. My lifeline is at 180. 180. When I will get them up to 200, where at that point I will have gotten the quest, then I will combine them and see if you can get... If there is a tier 2. I should know the cards from the back of my hand. If anything, you should be able to see somehow if there is another card of the same. I am Hellfire. No, I'm not Hellfire. Well, that was a mistake. Uh, yeah, we play this. Uh, I have mana. 10 mana, by the way. I will play the rock because although it's useless, it's going to help out Primal Fury. So we're going to go boom, 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 and boom. And nice. Just like that, 310 fire damage. And also increasing hellfire damage isn't really that bad because I have done all the quests that say don't decrease the other damage types. And I also there is also, you know, a legendary card that says all your other damage types transform into unholy. So if I scale my other damage types right now, it will help us at, in the grand scheme of things. And also we have spells that get elemental damage. So, nope, nice. We found the crits. I'm obviously gonna get the crits and unholy damage. I completely forgot that I'm unholy. For some reason, I, I thought I was hellfire. These are all useless. Let's go with... Uh, I guess tower slots for future proofing. I don't know. Maybe holy damage if I found the legendary that says you get more. Yeah, maybe holy damage was the play. I don't know what the real play was. Combo those. Okay, garrison damage between these traces. This real garrison increased tower damage. No. Oh, I could build up a bunch of towers and then get the card that says destroy towers gain garrison damage. Ooh, that would be a nice combo. Anyway, my duration is at 200 with this. Boom, done. And I'm out of mana, of course. Because that's what we're playing. I'm gonna combine this with the other crit. And I'm gonna combine this with the other unholy. I don't have another unholy right now, but... We will get it in the future. Although... Maybe should have already have combined it there. There was the chance there. Okay. Would like to get some hails. Some hail S. Boop, boop, boop. 300 damage on my garrison units. That's nice. Primal Fury. Let's see what we get. Two rocks. Two rocks. All useless. And garrison unit damage isn't really something to write home about. Back speed. Free structure damage on terms of different structure play. I mean, I'm gonna get this. Structure damage. Does that mean anything? It should mean anything. I'll holy damage that the one crits things. Maybe later. Yeah, this does work. So we have 11 mana. Play, 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 play. Nice. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. And we don't really have healing. I mean... Uh, we do have the blessing of protection. We have shielding, so we're good. And we're completely busted. The 500% damage on the single garrison thing. That's insane. Insane. This here, draw a card. Draw cards. Here we go. Get the crits. Ooh, I found the blessed. But I'm gonna get crits because I still... I haven't gotten luck. So... Oh, this is the low man around. Well, that was a mistake. I'm gonna go crits then. And the tower is useless. Banish that. And movement speed on the garrison is definitely what I want to be playing. I want my units to be running around faster. Did I just crit for 700 damage there? I think I did. Yeah, we want some movement speed and attack speed and range for my units. Movement speed and range. Because that's literally DPS, right? Because they have too little range and they just die moving. We found hellfire damage, which we're not really build off. I guess we're gonna get a 3 cost just to combine it. Classic case of what we're actually doing every single time. See what we draw. Okay. Here's some life spawn. Elemental damage. Cooldown. We have 11. 5 plus 3 plus 3 is 11 already. I would like to find this inside. Eh, it doesn't really go. Ah, here. Here. Ah, I could have gotten more out of Primal Fury. Whatever. 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 I'm still going for cooldowns. I prefer having the shield going up and up and up. I don't want to randomly lose. Although the shield up and up and up is not a thing. What am I talking about? Oh, uh, I didn't think about this. It's okay. <laughs> because we're losing the shielding anyway. Every single time. All these here. Okay. This one gets banished. Let's combo these two. No, no, no. I want to see if there is a garrison life spawn thing. So this is the low mana turn. Movement speed I definitely want. So let's play movement speed. Unholy. And... What's my unholy damage? 256. I guess 10% unholy. No, I'm gonna play the... I'm just... I'm playing the cooldown out of the fact that the cooldown is a tier 3. A tier 4. And it gives us 30% cooldown. Right? It's a tier 4. So it, it's it's the high-end cooldown card. 
That's why I'm playing it. Man, the difference between having the luck card in your deck and not is insane. Like, the luck card just breaks the game on its own. If you don't have the luck card, it's a normal run. If you have the luck card, you won. I'm sent on holy, very nice. So, uh, I will just play everything here. Alongside the unholy. Or I can keep the unholy there to maybe try to combine it. There is a decent chance I'm gonna draw the other unholy. So... But I'm losing out on playing cards. Now nah, we're gonna play cards. Boom, 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 boom. And turn. Not that it mattered there. But still, getting the 10% here and there is gonna matter. When you have so much mana, you should use it whenever you get the chance. In my opinion. And this is the final wave, so that should be a win here. Let's see if I can get the two lifespans to combine. That would be nice to see. Shopping time. Yes, tower damage up. That's useless. Rolling for 50. Okay, garrison movement speed. We guaranteed get this. It's a tier 4. And I'm done. I don't have money, that's why. Unholy 30 is good, but whatever. Garrison damage guaranteed. Garrison damage guaranteed. Now I got the unholy and the garrison damage. And I'm just missing the garrison spawn speed. Uh, persistence is here. Let's see what I can draw. Let's see what I can draw. Didn't draw the second persistence. That's a bit sad. It's a low mana turn. So I'm gonna go movement speed and crits and fury. Very nice. Fury once again. 30% or 40% damage based on how exactly it counts. If it counts itself. If it doesn't. Maybe 20%. Maybe 30%. I'm doing a thousand damage on crits. My crit chance is 29%. Well, let's, my opponents are just running through the, my garrison units. See what we draw. Useless. This is a high mana turn. I can't really play anything anyway, so we're just gonna play everything. Boom, 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 boom. Nice. Nice, nice. The high mana turns are awesome when you have a decent deck going on. The low mana turns are trash. <laughs> But with this character, they're not that trash because the low mana turns are you're at 6, like every other character is, and the high mana turns are you're at 11, which is insane. Insane being able to play like 4 cards per turn. Okay, once again all useless, but I'm gonna get the tier 4, maybe combine it with something later into legendary. Tier 3 is here. Give me another tier 3. No. Uh... Well, that's a low mana turn, so... Uh, redraw, discard all cards in hand and gain 4. I guess I could play that. For zero mana. Ah, let's try. Okay. Movement speed, movement speed. Another card. Nice. So, I'm gonna play three cost and then two cost. Structure damage? No. Three cost, two cost, and the damage. And the damage. Cooldown still going up. Man, cooldown's insane, as always. I think the laser is about to become a dual laser. Yeah, we almost have the dual laser. So that alone should carry us, by the way. The spells alone should be busted. Nice. Let's get what we draw. Let's see what we draw. Tier 3. I mean, I still want to combine specifically the two unholies with each other and the two life spawns with each other. It's a bit sad that I'm not getting them. Uh, we have a lot of mana here, so I'm going to definitely go with the life spawn. And the crits. Extra poke. And the crits. And the gears movement speed. Wong, wong, wong. Look at the speed of these boys. Ooh. Yep, it's actually happening. We're slowly speeding up. Slowly but surely, we are getting better garrison units. One garrison alone, man, carries you the game. Carries the game. One garrison on its own. We're doing 700 damage, man. 700. Okay. I'm not gonna play this. Draw cards. Draw cards. Tier 4 is here. Um, movement speed. I don't want to combine this with anything. The tier 3 needs to combine with something. Which is this one specifically. Elementalist. Or, or the poke. Man, I'm not just... I'm just not aligning them. Get the unholy. If you have no shield, gain 200. Pretty useless. Yeah, we're gonna just play this, this, and this. Go. I have 8 times this thing. Primal Fury. 607 damage and 290 unholy damage. We won. 700, I mean, we're doing 800 damage attacks here for free, and the crits are even more. 1,600 are the crits, so it's it's over, man. These things attack like crazy. It's not like they're weak units. The three middle ones, as always. Instant spawn on the garrison, why not? And tier three, so maybe we combine it with something. I never have done this, by the way, the garrison spawn speed. Garrison spawn speed. Here we go, 50%, nice. I don't even, I haven't gotten a single garrison spawn speed in general. In this run, that is. Okay, we found two trashes. Two trashes. Spells here. 
combo the two trashes. We found a better spell. We found also the cheater card, which is decent. I'm gonna get the butcher. Bust the most busted spell in the game. This is a high turn, so we're gonna go with Butcher, Summons, and Cooldown. How often do these fire? If the cooldown if this fires fast. And this just gives you one garrison unit. Eh. Eh. It's as if uh, you see this going up, this also goes up. Like it's a secondary line. Like if you have like seven garrisons, six garrisons, then this is gonna every time it fires, it just literally fires once of each. So it would be good if you had six, but eh. Eh. At long last, is persistence level two exist? Yes, it does. Let's go. Now I know. <laughs> now I know. And because this is here, I'm gonna say cooldowns and reach and movement speed. Cooldowns because I want the summon and the Butcher of Sins specifically to be completely busted. I mean, imagine the Butcher of Sins firing every two, three seconds. Like, if this has the speed of this. Like, imagine just this being as fast as this. Literally, every time it fires, everything dies. <laughs> I'm seeing pops all the time. I'm hearing pops, actually. Okay, we got long last. Got some trash here. So, tier 4 plus tier 4 poke. Let's see what we get. Oh, everything becomes unholy. Let's go. I literally predict that I'm going to get that. 11 mana. Movement speed for sure. Lifespan for sure. I mean, movement speed, lifespan go hand to hand. So, movement speed, lifespan, and I would say everything becomes unholy. Very nice. So, now part of the holy damage and hellfire or whatever. Got holy. Wait. I didn't get... I hadn't gotten the 100% holy damage that I had the ch chance, chance, chance to get. Look at these guys moving fast. Vroom, vroom. And the lifespan obviously is also really helpful. Lifespan gives you double damage. Everything gives you double damage. Lifespan gives you double damage. More range gives you damage. And damage. Everything gives you damage. Draw three cards from the deck and choose one to clone. Mm, not really. A spell. I'm gonna say let's go with a spell. I do want the mana though. The mana is decent. Especially because I'm playing this on lopsided turns. Now let's get the Sinner Sanguish, let's get the spell. Draw a card. This is a low turn. I draw cards. Rocks, rocks. See what we get. Useless. Completely useless. I'm gonna play this. We have some mana left. I'm gonna say... What's my crit chance? 35. I'm gonna say cooldown and... Structure damage is 670. Structure damage is already insane. <laughs> So let's just go with cooldown. Let's pump this. This should be the fastest spell. Yep, exactly. Now this is just an insane damage spell. And that's it. So that, that's... This is literally as... This here is literally as if you have a divine tower. So this is like you have a divine tower. This is like you have one more garrison every time this fires. And the rest are unique. <laughs> See what we get. Didn't get anything of value. A rock that does nothing. Is there another rock in the deck? Yes, there is. I'm gonna keep that there then. I'm not gonna banish this rock. Movement speed, life spawn, movement speed, trash. I'm gonna combine these two. Combine the two move the medium movement speed and the card I don't want. Hellfire. Oh, yep, 20% garrison damage. I'm gonna take that. I'm gonna leave it there though. This is actually one of the good turns. So I'm not gonna leave it there. I'm gonna play this. And this rock that does nothing, now I can actually banish it. It's gonna be another rock that gets added anyway. It's the same thing. We've got like two or three rocks right now. Look at this madness. Where's my range, man? Where's garrison range? Look at my units just zigzagging like a little microscopic armada of guns of God. Here we go. At long last, these have combined. We take this. 20% <laughs> hold damage. And this is a cheap turn. Uh, well, we don't care about any of these. Random card, 20% damage. Sacrifice all active abilities. Gain 20% tower damage. Or tower damage. No. If it was garrison damage and tower damage, then maybe. Imagine sacrificing all of these, by the way. <laughs> Imagine. We won. We won so hard that this isn't even firing. <laughs> the Sinner's Anguish isn't even firing because opponents are already dead. Look at them. My, my garrisons are just on top of each other. Free middle as always. Uh, I guess we get whatever. Draw two cards for three mana. Imagine. Banish for four. Those good. Hellfire, no. Tower damage, useless. I guess Hellfire damage, extra slots are guaranteed useless. So I'm assuming that this Hellfire damage is gonna become unholy damage. Maybe it works, I don't know. If somebody could see the damage we were doing before, we would have known. Yeah, attack speed's here, which we don't need because we don't have towers. One movement speed on garrison, very nice. 
So this is the good turn as always. Therefore, we're gonna go... I don't care about damage. We're gaining damage from this faster. So we're gonna go... Survival. Crits. Uh, movement speed. A card. And from 692... 752. <laughs> Insane. Insane. Six. Wow. We got like 70 out of that. 600... I, I, I know how to do math, but I forgot what the first of the two numbers is. It's 750 right now. It was 690, 680. I don't know what the first number was. Let's see, look at them run. Look at them running as fast as the wind. These are all useless. Wow. Well, it's the low turn anyway, so crits and movement speed, I guess. Crits and movement speed, I guess. My crits are at 53%. My units are running like the... Like... Like... Best. We are the pest spawners. Yeah, I don't even need AoE, man. I want to see what it's going to look like at the very end of the game. At the at the final stage, at the final boss. Okay. No cards. Okay, once again, this is a good turn, though. So I'm going to play five and these two. No, I can play these three plus this and this. Yeah, I would say we play three plus one. That's going to be more damage than just life spawn. So boom, 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 boom. A lot better. A lot better. 836. 2,000 damage for smack. 332 unholy damage. Busted, man. Busted. We got another one of these. I would like to get another one of these, yes. If it happens that we draw two of them at the same time, I just combine maybe one of them into something else. Well, it happened. This is unplayable, of course. And now the time doesn't move anymore, so we literally are unable to play that. Yersin. I would say if I'm gonna play this plus this... Oh, I can play one, two, three. Yeah, we're gonna play one, two, three. Once again, lifespan doesn't matter if we're gonna compare it with movement speed and damage. Look at this, look at this. This armada is killing this line, this armada is killing that line. <laughs> They're chasing them down, and now they're going back. They go over there, and they go over there. <laughs> Look at this. This is so stupid, man. Chase them down, boys. <laughs> uh, okay. This is the good turn. So, I guess these three... I guess everything, to be honest. Yeah, we have mana for everything. How awesome is this, man? This flip-flop of turns is good. Really good. Really good. It's flip-flopping. My units are faster than yours. I would like to have some range. So they stay like in the middle. like tra -tra 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 Without even moving. Actually range would be very valuable right now. Movement speed still is good. But range would be a lot more valuable. Give me a rock. Do I not have other rocks? I do have more rocks. Draw me a rock. Thank you. Let's see what we get. It doesn't matter. You to go in. Oh, oh. Find it. oh we found create even more units. Play the even more units. And movement speed. We do have movement speed blue, purple, right? Yes, we do have no damage. Movement speed purple, yep. So we're going to combine these now. Uh, whenever you play a card, you have a chance to draw a card. I'm going to definitely play this. And let's go. And the reason why I want to play that is because on my high turns, I might play like five cards and uh, draw maybe two of them. And then maybe we're going to combo into combo into combo. And uh, we're going to see. My build is still insane. We're still casting all the time. We're even getting more units out for free. Uh, three cards. Middle. Tier 4, no! Well, this is a tier 5. And this is a tier 2. I'm not gonna try to skip into tier 5 if possible. Luck or straw. Ah, let's go luck. Might as well go luck. And here we go into the next wave. Which should be really easy. No cards. Life spawn, movement speed. This is a good turn. So I'm going to play everything other than the life spawn. So let's see if I can draw anything. I want to play them in the order of definitely getting played. Okay, didn't appear. But we didn't draw a single card with a 10% roll. This is very weak with 10% now that I'm thinking about it. Whenever you use a card, you have a 10% chance. Maybe should be 20. Maybe should be 20. Although you can definitely get an infinite with this. I would like to get infinite card draw, by the way. There, There is a way. There is a way. But you need to get the god hand. The god hand. You need to get the god build, not even the god hand. Oh, this is a very bad hand. But guess what? We only have six mana. So I'm just going to play this. And this. And this. And that's it. And losing some mana isn't really that bad. I don't think we will even change the deck anymore. 
Like, I, I think we got what we wanted. We got the persistence up to 265. And we got the garrisons that I want. They're doing insane damage. They can't even move around. That's how crazy good they are. The only stage that is frightening me, of course, is the final level of the final stage. Tier 5 is here. I can combine them. Yeah, I'm gonna get the tier 5 and combine them with each other. If I am lucky enough of getting them both. I'm obviously not gonna play any other tower because otherwise we will lose the weird buff we have going on. Nice, we found the combo here at long last. Oof. I would like to combo the crits into the crits into the crits. But yeah, that's not a thing. I'm also not gonna combine these two for sure. So let's go with crits. Luck. This. This. Yeah, I'm not gonna combine the crits. Forget that. And I'm mean, crits are already at 100% in my mind. Almost. We're at 74, yes. But it's guaranteed gonna go up to 100. So I don't think we care about the crits anymore. We're gonna even combine them all together when I get to 100. So we maybe get some better stuff. <laughs> Man, look at them being like this, 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 zigzag. Persistence is here. This is one cheap turn. Tier 2 is tier 5. I guess I'm gonna play the garrison damage in the cooldown. Over the life spawn. Over the life spawn. I mean, cooldown gives us more units here. And summons also give us more units. Cooldowns in general is busted. My armor is through the roof. I'm healing extremely fast. I mean, we're just putting up a curse every single second, it seems. Explosions happening every single second. Lasers happening. Chop. Oh, we're already done with this. Sunder. I'm gonna buy a legendary. Yeah, why not? Mana. No, we're gonna buy a legendary. Just to combine it. And another legendary. Just to combine it. I'm, I'm so addicted to the luck build. <laughs> that I'm playing everything as if it's the luck build. <laughs> Which is a bit weird and insane, but doesn't matter. And we got treachery. How did everything die instantly in the beginning? I don't know. Manage those. I guess give us movement speed. And this is a good turn, so we're gonna play movement speed, damage, movement speed, and we're not gonna play the phone crusaders. Because I don't wanna lose the crazy damage we have going on. Nice. And once again, the crazy damage is this. While one garrison exists with no other structures, increases damage by 500%. And I'm assuming that this is multiplicative, that's why we are doing 2,000 plus. 3,400 and more. Okay, card draw, let's see what we get. Living Shadow, that's useless for us, let's see what we find. Give me a good damage type. We found this. Unholy crits have a chance to create knife, perfect. This is literally best in slot. Okay, I'm gonna play this. For sure. We randomly drew movement speed. Uh, I'm gonna say crits is no longer a dream. Let's see what we can get out of this. Next time shield is depleted. Draw an extra card. I guess I'm gonna play this stupid thing. And I wanna see how that's gonna actually work. Because I'm gonna deplete my shield on my, on my own. So let's see how that card was gonna work out. <laughs> Look at my armada running close to opponents. Can I, can I see my armada here go through the middle? I would like... Actually, first of all, I want to disable the laser. Here it is. Ooh, my armada. Tier 5. And a holy sinner, holy damage. Nah. I got the tier 4 here. Unholy saw blades. And let's get whatever. Maybe continue combining tier 5s. My armada. By the way, my editor is like, yo, the, just so you know, <laughs> the garrison units are literally invisible and I cannot do anything for that. Healing. I mean, these are all useless, obviously. When vanishing card gain its mana. Maybe. Divine Light. I guess healing. This is a good turn. I'm gonna play the heal. I'll also play these. I mean, this is 9 plus 4. That's not possible. Well, then I'm only gonna play these. Leave the healing there. I disabled the laser. I would like my... I just want to see my units for once in the middle here exist. I don't think we're ever gonna see them. Maybe I'm gonna tell my editor, my thumbnail guy, to just edit everything in. And make it look like a huge army is on the board. Let's see what we get. Okay, draw a card draw. Okay, so healing is irrelevant. Let's make the saw blade and something else. Come on, Hellfire heals us. Actually, why would I take that? Hellfire does the damage. Tower shoot next. Oh, I just realized I do have the... I just realized something. Holy moly. I guess Hellfire flame. I don't know. We're not going to use it anyway. Let's uh, throw these out. It's one of the weak turns right now. We found a spell. Very nice. I'm going to play the spell. And move 
movement speed. Yeah. Spell, movement speed. Whoop. Next time the shield's depleted. Play that too. Play the hell. Let's go. Whoa, look at this armada. Look at this army! I don't want the spell right now. I want the army to be visible. Look at the army! Look at the army! Whom, whom. It's a whole armada! It's a whole armada of units! <laughs> Love it. Love it. Okay, tier 4 unholy is here. I'm gonna take this. This is actually part of the build instead of, you know, trash taking stuff. That's useless. Okay, this is a good turn. Oof, a super good turn. Movement speed. Whoa. 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 Useless. I don't care about that. I care about combining these two, as we're not going to be able to play them both anyway. We're about to end the game. <laughs> we got even more holy damage and even more cooldowns. Let's go to holy damage. Unholy damage, unholy damage, and crit chance. And I think we're gonna beat the final boss. I wanna see. Nah, we will, we will. Maybe they won't even be visible, man. Maybe they won't even be visible. I'm gonna have the camera here in this size. Yeah, I think we're gonna stick to this camera range. See what we get. This is a weak turn. So I can only play two things, most likely. I guess we're gonna go with a life spawn plus more damage. I should have played this AoE first. Yeah, let's banish it at this point. I could banish my 5 cost to get energy if I have had played the thing that says every time you banish something you gain its energy. That could be cool. You combine 2 rocks, you get something that costs 3 and then you banish it to gain 3 mana. So that would be 2 rocks for 3 mana. And with so much card draw we have, that would be good. It would be actually strong. Uh, this is a good turn. Yeah, we have enough for everything. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, that was a bit fast. Oh, even better. Holy, I'm not gonna get movement speed. We're gonna get this crazy damage. So from a thousand, a thousand, wow. Wow, 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 wow. And this is the final turn. So let's see how good the final turn is going to be able to do with us. If I would take a guess, I'm going to say, yeah, we destroyed this. Look at our armada. We have units everywhere keeping track of everything. You see this? Hop, 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 hop. Like everything is just getting handled. Everything is getting handled. And we have, we didn't upgrade a single range upgrade. Also put the flames out. Look how fast these fire. Yeah, let's also like maybe put a laser out just for the memes, but I don't think it really matters. We won! We won with a single tower. And just like that, now I'm gonna unlock all the achievements. And the only thing left is to true uh, to create a true endless build and do a true endless run. At that point I will have beaten this game harm sent. So yep, complete all challenges and achievement I just got. So this should give us uh, yep, exactly. Units do unholy damage and reset the attack cooldown on kill. This is a new garrison, Slasher. I like that. So we still have a run to do with that specific tower. And this should be a legendary item. Increase garrison unit life spawn by 20% of tier 4, which I was missing. So good thing I didn't combine them further, but that's good to know. So now we have pretty much everything in the game. Which uh, I was going to assume that we would unlock something here on maybe the emails or something. But I guess... After you beat Harmson the game, there isn't anything to unlock, which is a bit sad, but it's okay at the same time. So, as I said, we only have two things left to do in this game, other than have fun and just play around. But I did destroy this at this point, and I would like to maybe play something else. So the one thing is to play the slasher build, the unholy units that reset attack cooldown on kill, which sounds fun and insane. And then the other thing is a true endless with the most busted spell which obviously is this uh, Reaper Scythe and a uh, spell build. Like the, I think the true endless is you go Butcher, Butcher of Sins with infinite spell cooldown. You just play a spell build and you just pump this Butcher of Sins, uh, which is damage sinners for half the current health. If you can cast this every two seconds, which I know sounds insane, but if you can make this cast every two seconds, you just broke endless. Now, there, this used to bring them down to one health. They nerfed this because that's how you broke endless but uh, maybe it's still possible i don't know i will do a run at some point anyway that's going to be it for today hope you guys enjoyed as always thanks for watching and see you guys around